Hello, hello, hello. Where are you so far, Kevin? You're, you're I don't really like the Tulane, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't really, don't really like the Tulane today. Yeah, well, I played in that one. Yeah, they got us. No, I'm joking. Here we go. I got you. <laughs> it's tough to talk. Yeah. Uh, where are you so far in terms of your, your progression, where you wanted to be at this point here in camp? Um, I think I'm on track um, to, to, to be ready. Uh, exactly where you know I need to be and where they want me to be. Um, I'm excited. Um, every day I wake up, I'm learning something new. Um, you know, and so uh, you know, getting ready for you know the season, preseason, um, and these you know these these next practices. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, still progressing, um, but we're we're towards the in install right now uh, for this for this portion, uh, which is very exciting. Um, to think that you know, not too long ago, I didn't know really anything about this offense, and now I, you know, I know a lot more than I did then. So, uh, progressing, excited, um, and, and ready to go. You've been open about kind of the, the inner dynamic for you, that that drive to be great, the, the striving for perfection, while also understanding that there are going to be mistakes. How's that been for you so far? Kind of balancing that in your mind. Yeah, it's been great. Um, I'm always tough about the mistakes. Um, that's the part about me I think that is is you know that drives everything. Um, and. You know, being tough on myself, being tough about the mistakes that that happen, um, whether it's, you know, MAs or it's actually, you know, a turnover or anything like that. You know, just being tough on myself, um, but understanding that, you know, there are going to be mistakes and, and, you know, how I how I respond to those mistakes, um, it, you know, depends on how and, you know, the response and all of that, you know, always provides an outcome, um, whether it's a good or bad response. You know, the outcome uh, from that from that response is always going to, you know, it's always going to be there. So, um, you know, it. Like I said, getting back to it, getting excited, um, getting prepared for this, and um, you know these mistakes, these good and bad days that I, you know, having at least in my good and bad days um, that I'm having, um, I know it's preparing me for you know those games late in the season, um, these preseason games coming up, um, and and you know obviously I go versus this defense every day, so uh, they make it tough on me. How vocal have you been in meetings? with the uh, coordinators, with your other players, about what you think could improve in a certain scheme, a certain set um, on the offense? Yeah, I'd say, I'd say I've been in some cool systems. Well, one cool system before this um, was Lincoln Riley, and we, we ran some plays similar. Um, and even today, um, getting in there, talking about it, um, there's a play that we ran today that, you know, um, I ran a bunch of times in college, and I, I, I've – you know, had a lot of reps with it, and so I got in there with the, the QBs, talked about it, talked about it with Coach, um, and then we went out there and we executed pretty pretty well in the play. So just, you know, if I have any knowledge, I always want to help. Um, obviously, if the other Qs have knowledge with plays, they always help. Um, and just, you know, finding that, that comfort, that balance between it all and, and, and getting out there and, you know, uh, working on the, um, the, the play itself and, and, and getting after it. And then, you know, the mistakes that we have, getting out there correcting, um, out there in practice or in the film um, is 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 important for us, and you know building that connection to to and, and relationship between the wide receivers and myself, the offensive line and myself, um, and getting out there and and, and having fun playing ball, um, exciting times. Caleb, from where you stand, what are the pros and cons of you playing in preseason games? I I always think there's you know there's there's more pros than cons in anything, um, especially for a young guy like myself. Um, the reps are always Reps are always paramount for any anybody like myself. Um, a young rookie, second year guy, um, third year guy. It's 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 paramount. Um, it's it's really important. Um, and you know, we'll see about these preseason games coming up. How they how they play out. You know, we always been able to extend plays, not necessarily run, but buy time and then throw the ball. Yep. How much pride do you take in that? Is that something that's natural? Did you have to work on that a lot? How would you try to? Um, obviously, you work on it. Um, you know, you you maintain what are what are strengths, um, and then you 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 get better at the things that aren't aren't so strong. And so I've obviously worked on it over over the years. Um, but you know, I I think it's part of it's natural. Um, of playing other positions when I was younger, and then you know the other part is that I worked on it throughout the you know the long long days and long years that I've had of of playing QB now. Um, and so um, you know, I, it's it's a it's a healthy balance of you know working on it and understanding. Filling the you know filling the offensive line and where they're going the defensive line and things like that the play the scheme um, that that you have you know been running um, at, at that play and getting after it and, and letting it rip. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Caleb. Is there any part of these last two weeks where 
something about the offense or learning install has been more challenging than you expected or frustrating that it isn't coming quicker for you? Um, I'm not saying that it isn't, you know, it isn't there. And um, obviously there's, there's going to be challenging times. It's not that it, you know, it's not coming quicker or, or slower than I expected. Um, it's more or less, it's more or less just myself. Um, when I go out in the field, I expect myself to, to not mess up. Um, it's just how I am. Um, and so when I do, um, it's, it's, it's frustrating. And so, um, and I would think for any quarterback in the league, there's only, you know, 32 of us uh, that are starting. And so for any quarterback in the league, um, I would expect them to be the same of, you know, when you go out there, you, you expect to have no MAs, no interceptions, no turnovers and things like that. And, um, and when you do, it's frustrating, uh, but it's, it's how you respond and react to those frustrating times is, is, is when you grow and get better. Have they told you yet if you're playing games, do you feel like it's furthest away from where you would like to be come week one? Furthest away. It's a good question. I would say, I would say right now, working on my, um, Got me with that one. Stump me. I would say working on my my blitz looks, my blitz and covers looks, and and feeling the you know the the, the umbrella of the defense, um, and 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 feeling that out to to adjust, um, you know, to to adjust uh, protection, to adjust, um, you know, whether it's a run, flip the run, flip the you know run into it, uh, flip the protection. Uh, get to a quick game, get to a you know a, 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 a cover zero check. However, however the structure of it works out, just just progressing, um, and a lot of that comes with seeing it um, and reps. Um, and so that's why also you know preseason and you know those things are are so important. Have they Caleb, told you if you're playing on Thursday? Have they told you? They haven't told me yet. Caleb, do you? Oh no. Uh, I would love to get out there and play. It's pretty awesome uh, to be at at Kenton. Um, but, you know, it's coach's decision. You think you'll get a chance to voice your opinion? Um, I don't know if I'll be able to voice it at this point and at, at my time in this point, so. You know, in, pra in practice today, you had the touchdown to Keenan on your right. Can you kind of walk us through what you saw and how, how you're able to kind of find him back there? Yeah, so uh, we, had a, we had a quick game for, for, for Blitz um, that I went to. Um, and also just, you know, it's, that's where we started right there in that progression. And then, um, you know, start there. And then I got back to Keenan. I felt the, you know, the pockets collapse and then uh, I felt a, a big gap open up. Um, and I know Keenan was coming, you know, coming on the back line. Um, and just, you know, I felt the, you know, the defense push over, uh, backer attached. And then, um, you know, backer was too low and threw it over his head. You're three, months, you're three months in working yep. with Shane Waldron. What about that relationship works for you? Yeah, I think, I think it's been a, a, a constant thing. Only really knowing him for, I would guess, four months, five months. I don't remember how long it is now, uh, but knowing him for only a couple months, um, and just just you know building this connection. Um, I think it's a lot through communication, um, a lot through um, just talking about stuff, um, talking about ball, talking about life, talking about his kids, his family, talking about my family. Um, and just and just you know on and off the field, just just continuing to grow that relationship, um, and a lot comes through communication. A lot comes through frustrating times. A lot comes through you know good times of throwing touchdowns when I throw an interception. Um, just the constant communication is, is huge. What good comes from the? I mean, you mentioned that. Sorry, what say to you? What's the good that has come out of the frustrating times for you that you mentioned? Yeah, um, him being able to just you know talk to me, communicate, um, explain what I saw. You know, explain what he thought and, and, and thought should happen. Explain what he was able to see from from you know where he was standing and things like that. Um, I think I think those are always those are always important times um, to be able to talk to your coach. You know, pick his brain because you always you know when you're out there and he calls a play and he has you know two three plays um, that he that he sent in and you know whether it was alerting to another play this and that um, and you know I mess up or, or or anything like that. Being able to talk and what he saw and just to be on the same page is, is really important when you, you know, when you get a you know office coordinator and things like that sending plays into you. You want to be on the same mindset as him, and um, I think that's really important. You know, right, right now and, and and progressing in that way. And then you know when we get to games and things like that, you know, being on the same page and constant communication throughout the week to be able to um, you know be prepared for when he calls those two three plays in the huddle 
uh, through the headset and I, you know, I get in the huddle and then, you know, when I get up to the line, I'm like, okay, this is what he wants. This is, you know, we're on the same page and uh, being able to alert a play, keep the play um, and things like that. Thanks, Thanks, awesome. Man. The Bears.